Uh, hey, everybody. Hi, Baritone Day. Brooklyn is cool. We are right for a second. Um, but these, the NYPD's response to the protest has been barbaric. Um, and the thing that I keep, I'm getting a little emotional thinking about it. The thing that I am struck by is the notion of protest as an act of rebellion, right? And what happens when you rebel against any structure is you're opposed and you rebel and you rebel against that opposition until you break through. I am very skeptical, suspicious even, of any part of that rebellion being met with easy agreement. Mm. When people are too quick to say yes in a negotiation, you came in too low. You just did. Um, when the people that you're trying to change pat you on the head, you are not speaking clearly enough. You're not making the point that you actually meant to make. Chances are good that you have been um, that you're being placated to keep you quiet so that you don't actually get to the thing you really want. Because if they come in early and they say, absolutely, then you will step down. It happens every time people get shot up <clears throat> in a school or at a concert. The legislators will come in with some nonsense, low ball legislation that doesn't change anything and isn't going to solve a problem. But it looks like they've done something. And so people are quiet for a moment, they back off a little bit and then the gun lobbyists jump right in and they fill in the void. I am afraid right now that that's sort of the energy that we're in. If Mitt Romney is in the street for me, I'm not saying the right thing. Ah. I'm just not, I don't yeah. buy it. Yeah. If somebody is patting me on the back and saying, good job at how you are trying to change everything, I am not doing it right. It's too early, it's too easy, it's too soon, it's too much head patting. So I'm feeling really emotional about that. I know that the NYPD is stomping on people who look like me right now because they have a lot to lose. They are a bloated organization and de Blasio has helped them make a lot of money. They are powerful around the world. People seek their counsel who do not need it. So I want that to feel painful so that it changes. Don't pat me on the head, fix it. Now I'm gonna breathe. <laughs> How are you feeling? Angry. I'm angry. I'm tired. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You know, I, <laughs> to go back to the point that my sister made earlier about this legacy of slavery, I looked at a map a couple weeks ago of, Saint, of South Carolina. Um, I've seen the slave record that my family is listed on. I've seen the will that my, rest, my family was valued on. I know that my great, great, great grandfather was listed as $1,000. Now I've seen the map where I see that the plantation was so large that a third of South Carolina has my family's names on it because my family was working that ground. Enough is enough. Literally built this country, stop, stop. So I'm feeling, <laughs> I got a lot of, a lot of anger and I just want to see some real action.